You've now received your Pumani VC Pack package, so I'm going to open the package and explain all of the contents of the package. So you'll take a box cutter to open your box, and be careful not to cut in too deep into the box, otherwise you may cut some of the components inside the box. So be careful as you're opening it. Once you've opened your box, you will see on the top there is an accessory pack here, which we call the starter kit. And this has a um, set of accessories that come in each box. Underneath the accessories pack is the user manual and repair manual. You will also have your power cord in the box, and then you will have your Pumani unit. So you will remove the inserts and place those aside and pull out your Pumani unit. You can set aside the box and remove the plastic covering over the Pumani unit. And I will now explain the contents of the accessories pack. So if you open the pack, the pack will contain the following items. The bottle tubing in this package, a set of hats, which contains one large hat, one medium hat, and one small hat. One set of variety pack of prongs. There are six prongs here, sizes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in the pack. And you will have three sets of patient tubing. And in the patient tubing bag, you will see the patient tubing, the end cap here, with the fish elbows connected, and two hat clips in each bag. So I will open the contents of the bags so you can see all of the components of the company. So the patient tubing is here, the hat clips in a set, the end cap here. Your nasal prongs you can also open. There should be a small opening here, and you can pull on that tab to open the package. And lay your comments out. You can open your hat pack here. And you have your three hats and open your bottle tubing pack. Okay, and also remove your power cord from the bag. And it may also have a plastic cover on the cord, you can remove that. And you can set all of the packaging aside for now. So these are all the components that you need to start Kamani therapy. And in the user manual and repair manual, you will see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble the Kamani CPAP. I'm now going to explain how to assemble the Kumani before it goes on the baby. So, of the components that you just opened in your package, you do not need the hats or the hat clips right now, so you can put those aside. And if you want to follow along in the user manual, we will be starting on the part one, how to assemble the Pumani CPAP. 
So the first step will be to take your bottle and fill the bottle to the set pressure level. And typically patients receive between 5 and 8 centimeters of water pressure. And for this patient, we'll start at 6 centimeters, where most patients will start. So we will remove the lid. Take water. You can use either tap water or distilled water to fill the bottle. To check the water level, you want to put it on a level surface and check at eye level. And this is at six. So place the lid back on the bottle. Place the bottle in the bottle holder. Pull the strap over the bottle. And you'll take your bottle tubing and attach it to the unit. So the bottle tubing is always placed in this orientation. The long piece of tubing going to the bottle and the short piece going down to the bottle port. So you'll connect the tubing to the bottle port. You should hear a snap when it's in place and a snap into the bottle. Next, you'll take your patient tubing here. You'll take this white end of the tubing that connects to the unit and you will attach it to the patient tubing port right here. You may need to press on this button and push it onto the port. You will hear a snap when it's attached. You do not need to press hard to attach it. It should snap into place. Your next step will be choosing the prong size that is the best size for the patient. So you will need your patient. And typically patients are on oxygen therapy before they go on the Kamani. So while the baby is still on oxygen, you can take one of the nasal prongs and place it in the patient's nostrils very briefly and make sure that the prongs completely fill the nostrils. That's very important so that the patient receives the full pressurized air into their airway. So you want to confirm that the prongs fully fill the nostrils. They're not too small or too large or irritating the patient's nose. And I've chosen size zero for this baby. And zero is the smallest size. So I'm going to take my size zero, place the other prongs to the side, and on the end of the patient tubing, you have this fish elbow, and that connects to one side of the prong. And on the other side, you will have your end cap here, and that attaches to the other side. So you've now assembled your machine, and the next step will be to turn on the device. So you'll take your power cord and plug it into the back of the unit. So there's an outlet here. You plug in the unit in the back. plug in the cord into the wall. Okay, and then you will turn on the Kumani. There's a power switch here that you will press to turn on the unit. You will see a yellow, or excuse me, a green light lit up when the unit is on. 